Hello my loyal subjects, my name's King Wolfile and today we are looking at the Metal Fusion Anniversary set of Beyblades. Now, before people start commenting about it, yes I'm going to open this and yes they're going to get a couple battles. I don't want to battle them too much because I don't want to get them too scuffed up. Um, once they're ready to be retired they'll be going back in this box and they'll be going up on a shelf. It's going to look really cool. So. This was made for the Beyblade's 20th anniversary. They also remade a bunch of the OG ones as bursts. Takara Tomi released these sets. Um, and at the end of the day, toys are meant to be played with. And that this is this is such a big part of my nostalgia. We'll put it that way. So Beyblade for me, my favorite series has always been Metal Fusion and Metal Masters. Um, my favorite Beyblade of all time. Twisted Tempo. My second favorite Beyblade of all time, Rock Leon. This one. This one. They remade the OG Rock Leon as a burst Beyblade. I'm so excited to get this opened up and, and mess with them. Um, so what we're basically going to do for this episode is we're going to launch each of them, see if they move like the originals, um, and then we'll do a couple battles. Um, I'll pro I might battle them against some Hasbro Beyblades just to minimize potential damage to them. Um, because the Hasbro Beyblades burst pretty easy, and I just, I, I wanna, I wanna battle them. Um, actually, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna go downstairs. When I cut to go to the arena, I'm going downstairs, I'm grabbing Golden Judgment Dragon, because that thing bursts so easy, and I can play with these guys without damaging them too much. So, um... What we're going to do is we're going to launch each of these. We're going to see how well they spin. We're going to battle them each against Golden Judgment Dragon. And we're going to see how the Pegasus remake compares to the false Pegasus. I was... <laughs> if you heard a scratch, that was my cat running into a wall chasing a fly. I will see you guys in the arena. Sorry if I seem a bit flustered. I'm just super excited to have these, to have these Beyblades. So excited. So, this is the fake Pegasus. As you can see, it really likes to just kind of circle. And then it'll start uh, it'll start swinging once it's towards the middle. Also, um, different color blue from that. That's not rubber, no glaive. Here's the true Pegasus. Matching colors, actual rubber, glaive, and everything, everything how it should be. And immediately doing the Pegasus 8. It's like a figure 8. Ah, uh, it's doing the figure 8. Oh, it's Pegasus! It actually works like Pegasus. It actually attacks like Pegasus. Oh, that makes me so happy. Oh, that makes me so happy. Heck yeah. Oh, that makes me so happy. Yeah, rubber's already starting to wear down a little tiny bit. That's fine. That's fine. Toys are meant to be played with. I'm trying to convince myself that I'm not making a mistake by messing with these. Uh, honestly, I might buy a whole second set just to have just to have a set to put up so that I can play with these ones and not feel bad about it. We're gonna do Sagittarius next. Look at that, or Sagittario. Whatever you want to say it. Oh, I'm so excited. Bam. It's got your. It's got that performance tip with these little dangly bits. I love this launcher. The string launcher is dope. Yeah, it's sticking in the middle. You can hear them jingling as they as it spins. I love that. Now the Sagittario is one of the ones I didn't have when I was younger. I had Pegasus, I had El Drago, I had Rock Leon, I had Twisted Tempo. Um, I did not have Diablo Nemesis. What was the what was the other black and purple one? I cannot remember it offhand. I'll have to. I'll have to edit future wolf. I'll put the name on screen or put a picture of it. Yeah, that's running how it should. That's lovely. We're gonna do El Drago last because it's a, actually we're gonna do Rock Leon last because that's my favorite. This Earth Eagle immediately headed to the middle. Did it always move like that? I never had Earth Eagle, so I'm not sure. People who had the original Earth Eagle, let me know if that's that moves like that. That was that's weird. It got to the middle and then decided, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna zigzag in place. 
I'm trying to see. I can't read Japanese. <laughs> I'm trying to see if it's got the um the type. What's it called? The um like the um whether it's defense or stamina. Obviously, Earth Eagle's not stamina. That lasted rid not too long at all. Uh, Pegasus is attack. Um, Sagittario is stamina. Leon is defense. El Drago, I believe, is also attack. I actually do not know what Earth Eagle is. I will presume, because it's a little on the heavier side, that it is a defensive bay. Um, but I don't actually know offhand for Earth Eagle. Earth Eagle, for reference, my least favorite of these five, even though it's my favorite color. I love purple. Um, yeah, in the end, I wish they would have had Bull, uh, but that's, 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 we're complaining about stupid things when I have such a cool set of Beyblades right now. Um, Oh yeah, I'll drive. This feels so nice. Uh, different. No! <laughs> uh, this this uh, different launcher because this is a left spin. Oh. This just brings back memories of messing with the metal fusion ones. Drago, just starting the outside. It was such a cool thing. Because when I watched the OG Beyblade when I was a little, little kid, my brain didn't care left spin versus right spin. I just cared that it was people yelling and spinning tops bright colors. So when in Metal Fusion, when they were like, yeah, this Beyblade spins left and it's going to destroy the universe. I was like, holy crap, it spins left and it's going to destroy the universe. Oh, that's, that's lovely. Yeah. These, these are beautiful. They move like the originals. They feel like the originals, which is crazy because the originals, like the big gimmick with the Metal Fusion ones is that it was all metal on the outside and they were all kind of on the heavier side. So it's cool that they were able to get them to move the way the Metal Fusion ones did. Now my, my boy, my boy Leon, if you don't sit in the middle of this arena without budging, I'm gonna be upset. You don't go directly to the middle of the yes, it's Leon. Yes, it's Leon. Oh, oh, it's Leon. Oh, it moves exactly like the old Leon. Oh, is, my memories are floating back. Oh, I love Leon. Just look how cool that color scheme is while it's spinning. Just look at it. Look how cool it is. Ah, oh. no, <laughs> I made a burst. Yeah, if they're spinning too fast and you grab them like that, they're nine times out of ten they're gonna burst. Yeah, let me just look at that. I actually didn't really hold many. I got too excited to make them spin. I got too excited. Um, I know I showed you guys Pegasus and Sagittario. That's Earth Eagle. Earth Eagle. El Drago. Lightning El Drago. No, Medio El Drago. No, this one's Lightning El Drago. Medio El Drago is the white one. I believe. I'm probably wrong and someone in the comments is going to be rude and correct me. And then my boy. My boy. Rock Leon. Dope. Alright. I don't want to battle them against each other. I I know they're probably not going to take too much damage. Beyblades are very sturdy things, especially the Takara Tomi Beyblades. Um, except apparently the, the Stamina Dragoon I got downstairs. But um, we're going to battle them against this Hasbro Judgment Dragon. And the reason... We're going to battle this against the Hasbro Judgment Dragon. is because this Hasbro Judgment Dragon bursts super gosh dang easy. Um, and so it's going to minimize the damage I do to these guys. Because um, unless I do decide to buy a second set that I can just have, these guys are probably going to go back in the box after this video. And they're going to go on display in my living room. And they're going to stay there until I need them for a different video. And they're going to get used as little as I need to use them. So we're going to start with the Pegasus, so we're going to load it up first, and we're going to launch Judgment Dragon first, and we're going to watch the Metal Fusion Bays tear through Judgment Dragon. Or Judgment Dragon can tear through it. <laughs> or Judgment Dragon can tear through itself. You know what, That's all. this is why, this is why I grabbed Judgment Dragon to test these bays against, okay? Now you guys realize that maybe these aren't going to take as much damage as you think they are. Let's launch this a little bit softer so it's a little less aggressive. That's 
so much smoother and nicer. It's got that Pegasus figure eight going. Hey, it didn't burst. That's surprising. That's surprising. Yeah, that didn't move at all. No scratches. No scratches. Easy peasy for Pegasus. That was half half to bursting. Okay. That was halfway to bursting. We're gonna do Aldrago first. We're gonna do the two the two big boys first. And we'll do we'll do Leon last because he's my boy. If any of these lose to Judgment Dragon, I'm just gonna um cry. Wait. You know what, will this work on the... It will work on the Takara Tomy launcher. Wow. But will it survive El Drago? <laughs> Probably not. I'm surprised it hasn't burst yet, though. I, w I honestly thought it would have, like, burst, like, first battle. Is it allowed to beat El Drago? Okay, no, it stopped spinning first. Okay, thank God. It looks like, it seems like, judge, it didn't even move, the thing didn't move. I'm discovering something awesome. Apparently, Takara Tomy Launcher makes Judgment Dragon viable. <laughs> That's what I just learned. So yeah, we're doing a damage report real quick. There is a small scratch on El Drago right there. But that also does not look like, uh, it does not look like that's a recent scratch. That looks like a manufacturing thing. That's fine. Are you going to, why am I putting you in, that's the wrong Pegasus. Go away. Let me double check Pegasus real quick. Yeah, Pegasus has a, another small scratch that's almost exactly the same as the one that's on El Drago. So that, that could easily be a manufacturing thing. Um, and it could just be a scratch from, um, from Dragon Dragon. Yeah, this has the same, like, little, like, scratch by, like, the seam. So, yeah. I'm thinking it's probably a manufacturing thing, but never be too, too self-conscious about, uh, destroying collectibles. Dragon Dragon. Sagittario. Ooh, Sagittario is so much small. Were the other two not small compared, comparatively? Ooh, that's... Sagittarius? Oh, Sagittarius wrecked house. Wow. Is Sagittarius? So yeah, no scratches. What I was worried about, because Sagittarius is real short, so Sagittarius was actually smacking into the the, the uh, attack ring and didn't take any damage. Yeah, I don't think they're taking too much damage at all, really. Are these, is it that much shorter? No, it's only a little bit short. It's because the uh, it's because the energy ring is thinner. So probably was going right underneath the the tall parts of Judge and Dragon. All right. Earth Eagle is up. I cannot speak highly enough about this this ha this Takara Tommy launcher. Because the string launchers, I, I didn't get, I should get some string launchers for the Hasbro ones. Because that's so much smoother and nicer than this. That's so, I love that so much. Yeah, it moves almost like Leon does. But not exactly. Okay, there it goes. There it goes. Yep, and no, there's a little bit of an abrasion there, but it's not like those other scratches. Yeah, good job, Earth Eagle. The only thing that seems like it got this close to bursting low was the El Drago, which is surprising because El Drago is the one that almost lost to it. I'm, I got a lot more to learn about Bay, the newer Beyblades, don't I? So for those in so those watching this that know more about modern Beyblades than I do, please let me know why maybe that is. And please let me know how wrong I am about the, the spin patterns of these guys as opposed to my, my memory of their spin patterns. Bam. And we're gonna go Judge a Dragon. And my boy. No, my boy! No! Leon! Alright. Leon, do your thing.
Oh, that hit hard. Be the brick wall I know you are. Yeah. Yeah, so a couple little, little dinks. Handful of little, little dinks on the, on the, on the rings. That's okay. So yeah, that's, uh, <laughs> yeah, all of these destroyed him, except for when Leon decided to jump in to the pit and destroy himself. But yeah, that's the, uh, that's the anniversary set. Metal Fusion. Beyblades. I'm sorry. I, I honestly filmed this video just because of how excited I was to have these things. Um, this, the Metal Fusion was such, like, one of my favorite shows when I was, uh, when I was younger. And just having these, even if I don't use them too often, is such a cool thing to just have. Um, so, I mean, technically this probably should have been an episode of Collection Carnival because they're more collectibles, but Spin Seal, Beyblades. Yeah, like I said earlier, I'm sorry if I'm flustered. It's just such a cool thing to have. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoy the next one. I hope you have a wonderful day. Be good people, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.